So, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Giesmeister here, and I'm going to show you a little few things you can do with the new update to Railroads Online. A fun little game where you get to build your own railroads. Now this is an early access game. It's uh, just had a two-year anniversary. And with the two-year anniversary, they've gotten well. They gave us a new map, and in this new map, we can place our industries any place we want to. So, of course, you want to put your logging camp in the middle of the fort first. Anyway, um, and then of course you have to have a sawmill for your logging camp. Your, lo your, your, your sawmill, you float your, 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 float your logs in the pond at the sawmill. And then, of course, you have to load your uh, logs. Well, this is the, what I call the money machine. Because I load logs into the dry sawmill. I then have a warehouse. A freight yard, if you will. Right here, I have cars stationed so that I can basically, um, well, I can make endless amounts of money, quite honestly. In case you're wondering how much endless amounts of money, this is two hours of running on a brand new game. Oh, look! <laughs> I'm almost level 7. I have 22,000 dollars and um, I've actually purchased that's not my starter engine I deleted my starter engine and um, I, I purchased this one because I want it to reflect uh, the name of our railroad um, as you can see over there we have uh, all the other industries are all neatly stacked on top of each other but that for a later time. Right now, I'm just trying to make money. I need to get to level seven because once I get to level seven, then I can buy the Lima consolidation, which is my ultimate goal. But those are expensive. I need a lot of money. Therefore, <clears throat> I'm um, made the money machine. Um, and. Some of you might have noticed there is a track going up there, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I went to the top of the butte. How do you get there? Well, you can run and climb. It's quite long and difficult since this is top speed right here. As you can see, it's not very fast. However, if you go out here, building menu, grab an industry, any industry. Oh, let's say an oil, power mine. Well, we need to place this somewhere. Uh, doesn't work there. Oh, look at how fast we're traveling. Will it work up here? Absolutely. Don't want it here. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, how about over here? Let's let's take it over here. You know, I haven't looked at. The, oh, look. Th that looks like uh, could be an iron mine or ore mine over here. This looks very interesting. We could probably do something like that over here. Ah, uh, there's a nice little lake there. We could put it in the lake. Uh, the map is quite expansive. Um, so if I wanted to have the ore mine here, let's rotate this. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. Now, it doesn't want to come down. Let's see if I can make it come down. But as you noticed, I've traveled across the map quite a ways. It's going to stay there because they were at a high point. Well, you just hit G, come out of this menu, you drop down, you can place it somewhere else. But as you can see, it's a beautiful map. And there's the desert, and here's, and that's where we work and play over here. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I did build a real sawmill properly placed in the right spot with nice track going around so we can run from the logging camp over here to the mill. Now this mill is 
okay, it's not full right now. Um, actually, you don't know, no, I take it back. It is full. Let's drop down and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's completely full. So we could be making money by selling all this wood here. But that's counterproductive to getting massive amounts of money at a high rate of speed, which is why I built the money machine over here. Hey, there's our door. Always facing in the weird direction. Um, so we take our logs. As you can see, it's dry. We do have a real logging pond for later use. When I actually start playing the game, but right now, we're just money and experience. Those limas aren't cheap, and in order to buy them, I need a lot of money. Now I have multiple people that work on my particular railroad, and I need a lot of those. And also, we have other trains. Um, I didn't show you. Uh, up at the top of the <laughs> up at the top of the butte over there is uh, another train. It's the uh, the comet, and you can barely make it out. It's between it's in the arch between those two bridges that are um, hovering, if you will, up there. Hmm. Ah, such as it is. Um, yeah, I can go up there and show you what it's like up here. That's such a grand. Yeah, such a grand view. Wait for the door to open. Hey, look. See that? Look at that. Look at that view. Look at the size of this map. Isn't this lovely? You can build anywhere on this map, but I need to make money. Now, just as an FYI, uh, this train came up here on a 10% grade. As you can see, it snakes back and forth kind of everywhere. Um, problem with that is this particular engine, um, well, it's not quite up to real life specs yet because being a early access and a beta, uh, it doesn't go the 45 that it originally did, um, way back in the day when it actually ran. It does 15. Now, I'm assuming that at some point in time, They'll at least bring it up to the 29 they can currently go right now. Um, now that particular train being a 440, uh, an American 440, it would be probably pulling uh, passenger cars most of the time. And uh, we do have passenger cars to buy, but we don't have passengers uh, in our game yet. <clears throat> Future update. In the meantime, we're, uh, we're going to have fun just for role play at this point in time, is what they say. Now, I need to fill this logging camp again. I currently only have, yeah, I'm not doing good, 30 logs. Because the problem is, I keep putting logs in, but I keep putting logs in. And I keep putting logs in. But for some silly reason, they keep disappearing. Disappearing. Oh, maybe because we're making lumber. 61 on that one. Oh, this one's full. Excellent. We're, so it's filling this one up. Solely. So that'll fill up faster. But anyway, this is uh, an exploit, a cheat, whatever you want to call it. It works. I told, I told uh, some of the people in the group that uh, this is my Todd Howard build. It just works. Is it good? No. Does it? It, makes, it does what it does. It makes money. Like I said. It's my Todd Howard build. It just works. And look at that. I'm almost level 7 already. I got $23,000. So I'll get some more money. Because, well, we need money. These cranes should all be running, but I was trying to let this lumber yard fill. But of course, everything takes time. But this was the fastest way I could exploit this game. Now I'm going to be doing this in the future with other, uh, like the oil fields, 
I'll be running the oil field. Um, I'll be bringing, well, of course, I still have to bring things to the oil field, but it'll be a very short trip, and the oil field will produce oil in mass quantities quite quickly. And uh, the same thing with steel mill and everything else. It, it all works. Um, <laughs> it just works. Whatever makes us money. Oh, yep, 23,028. You only get like six for each one of these. So you're wondering that it takes a while to make money, but this is two hours. This isn't bad. Oh, look, I'm almost there. Oh, gee. 520 more points, and I'll be level 7. Then I can start buying Lunas. Yay. 400 points to go. It works. It works. It just works. It does. It just works. A lot of running back and forth. Okay. We like running back and forth. As long as it makes us money. Oh, 200 to go. We're gonna get there. We gotta get there real quick. Too bad now he doesn't go as fast as experience. Experience goes up 20 at a pop. Unfortunately, these are all worth like six. You have to get the oil to get the real money. Um, hmm. Ta-da! I am now level 7. Being level 7, I can go here and go to any locomotives and go right straight to the end. I want to have a locomotive that'll do things. So we're going to go all the way to tier 7. There it is, the Lima. What paint can we get? That paint job or, or a rust bucket paint job. I'll take the pretty one. And headlights. Antlers. I like antlers. I like number seven. Yep, I like number seven. Smokestack. Which one do we get? Standard. Stubby. I don't know what that is. Nah. Turbine. Uh, we're going to go with the stubby, I think. Now, you know, which is the tallest one? I need the tallest one. That's tall. That's taller. Okay. Engine number... Oops. Engine number three. Wow. On the tender, we want to have... Uh, Ash Lake Railroad. The name of our railroad. And... Uh, what do I call this bad boy? Uh, hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. What do I want to call this? Let's call it Sally. Because, hey, why not? Order that sucker. Boom. Okay, let's go see what we've got. All the way back here at the starting point. As you can see, it is quite the distance. Oh, hey, look. There we go. Yeah, it's not accurate. The actual headlights on these things are... Uh, um, run off a dynamo, a dynamo, ooh. yeah, so we, 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 uh, I'll run off a dynamo, which they have not installed on these, we do have, oops, missed it, there it is, we do have air brakes, 
Um, so let's take a look at this big beast. There it is. Hey, Sally. I call her Sally because why not? Looks like something Jack Skellington's uh, would uh, drive. Let's call it Sally. Ah, ah, what do we got? Brakes are on. Yeah, a few things I learned the hard way. You can drop them off the track because, well, <clears throat> that's where they spawn and as you see that is end of line and it spawns yeah so you can see there's a problem with spawning uh that's not exactly ideal uh let's see where we're at oh let's look at the back um no steam no air pressure no nothing hey look at that Whistle. Ooh, it's a stealth whistle. Oh, no steam. Anyway. I'll be back when I got ahead of steam.